Hey guys and welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've posted any videos. It's been a couple of months, so it's uh, 2021 now. So I hope everyone's had a good Christmas, a good New Year's. I hope you guys are keeping well, staying safe. We are currently in tier four, so we're very limited to what we can actually do. Apart from that, yeah, I hope everyone's all good. As you can probably tell from the title, today I'm gonna to be trying to tackle the very daunting task of installing airbags on my car. It's in my nature to procrastinate. I don't know why that is, but I just do with the task this this sort of size. There's a lot that goes on when installing bags. You have to try and uh, organize everything properly. So the compressor, the tank, uh, the management all has to be uh, I want it to be nice and tidy and also I've got to convert my BC coilovers into bags I'll show you all the bits and pieces here yeah it's just running all the lines taking all the seats out all the boot carpet there's a lot that goes on and also there's um there's some MDF down here underneath all that crap uh, I plan to make an enclosure but I'll fill you guys in whilst I also go along and uh, we'll try and keep this video um, as short as possible. I don't want to make this like a, a, a 20 minute video. It's going to be probably in different parts. I guess let's get on with it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I really want to show you guys this air tank. The air tank that comes with the kit, it's finished in brushed aluminium, I believe. I don't like that look. So I actually got my mate to spray it. Yeah, I'm not going to say any anymore. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like because it's absolutely awesome. And you, you guys are going to love this. Before I show you guys the air tank, I'd like to introduce you to the new addition to the family. This is little Vivian, or Vivian. She's seven months old. Um, my girlfriend decided to buy another cat during the lockdown. She was um, very, very depressed, <laughs> as we all were during the lockdown period. So um, she needed herself another cat. And look at this beautiful, beautiful kitchen. Look, look at her, she's so fluffy. So shout out to Tungsten Automotive, this is the uh, my friend's company, um, so if you're in the Crawley sort of area and you're watching this, go hit him up. Tungsten Automotive, hit him up on Facebook and Instagram and slide into his DMs. You guys can see the metallic and sparkle. There you go, she's always curious. Hello. Like this video if you like the colour of the tank. Again, they absolutely smashed it. So I have BC coilovers and uh, bags and suspension. I'm literally gonna convert my BC coilovers into bags. So pretty much you just remove the, the coil spring on your coilovers and you install this, you wind this down. And as you can see, it has airline ports for your airlines. So it's literally a plug and play. I've got four of them to go on but I'll probably leave that till last. This is the box you guys want to see. This is the airlift 3H and 3P kit. I don't think I'm gonna install the height sensors because I'm hearing a lot of horror stories with the, um, the 3H height sensors and it's a lot more work involved installing the height sensors. So I'm just gonna leave it here. This is the compressor. Can't take it out. It's such a huge box. Here we go. So I'm, I'll be running one compressor. I, I believe this is a 4040, uh, 440CL or something like that. In this other box we have, I believe, okay, so we have the management here and we have 
some wiring, some cables, some fuses, stuff like that. Literally everything you need to convert bags on the S2000 is here. But before I carry on, I just want to say I'm very grateful that I still have my job. I had the opportunity to buy the bags on Black Friday and I also pulled the trigger on some new wheels. So if you follow my social media, I've posted the new wheels. So if you want to go check that out, the plug is down below in the description. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and follow the build but you can see my wheels there. I'll do a separate video to showcase that, but the main focus in the next couple of videos is to bag the car. So I just wanna say I'm grateful. I'm sorry for the guys that have lost their jobs. It's really sad times. I know a lot of people that were made redundant and it's just sad, but you know, the only thing we could do now is just try and focus and to keep moving forward. Okay, so I've gone ahead and removed all the boot carpet, everything that's inside the boot, everything. And I just noticed that there's still some water collecting in here. I really don't understand where it's coming from. So that's kind of pissed me off, but I actually plan on putting more so, more sound deadening in here. The car's so droney. I've bought some sound deadening, so I'm just literally just gonna plonk them in different places, like in there as well by the wheel arches, like everywhere I can, just to sort of prevent the cabin noise. So picture that. So it's gonna be cut up uh, around about here. So I still have some boot space. You don't have a lot of space in the S2000, I'm afraid. So I'm trying to do the best I can. I'm gonna cut up this board and then we're gonna do a little box. And then the management should sit around about here. So I need to get all my measurements right and then I'm gonna put the compressor tank um, on the right side here. Um, I'm gonna use this vent hole. So when the lines come out of the management, I'm gonna stuff them in that hole. That should lead to the outside and then I'll run all the lines. Okay, just want to show you guys what I've done so far. Okay, so the compressor tank is now on the MDF board that I just have been working on. If I can show you guys real quick, I've decided to use two 9mm MDF boards together and as you can see, it's all fixed now. So that's the tank done. So the aim of the boot build is to have enough space so that I can actually use the boot. So I think this is the best plan. So you're gonna have to do some cutting on the boot panels there. I'm gonna have to do some shaving and try and make it as tidy as possible, but I don't wanna drill anything onto the metal. So I've got some high duty glue stuff and hopefully that will hold. I've been told by a lot of people it should be more than enough. So I've got the glue somewhere inside, but the next task is to do some more cutting on the boards and make an enclosure so that I can have the management sitting on top of here. So we're gonna keep cracking on and I'll just keep you guys updated um, every now and then. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours. I think I'm gonna call it today. I'll show you guys what I've done so far. It's taken me a couple of hours to get everything sorted because a lot of uh, cutting, a lot of measuring. I don't have much knowledge on joinery, so I just, you know, used my ideas and it seems to be holding. It's quite solid, but I'm gonna turn it around and show you guys what I've done. And uh, I'm quite proud of myself, so. So this is what I've got so far. This is the, um, this was the idea have the compressor tank on a board and then having an enclosure, a part enclosure, where the management will sit on top. I'll remove this for now, it's actually just sitting on there. I'll move the management and then I'll show you guys what I've done. And if you look in there, I've just used right angle brackets and a couple of wood screws to hold it in place. A couple of those. The only thing I'm having issues with is the uh, screws are starting to protrude out of the wood so I might just get a sander and file those off and sand those off because it's everywhere like they're sharp everywhere if you can see it here focus there I'm gonna sand them down I think the next stage I might do tonight off camera I'm gonna wrap the MDF board in the fabric that I've gone for it's uh I'm actually quite proud of that what did you guys think give this video a thumbs up if you like this 
if it's giving you ideas. I don't know why it's taking me so long to make this. I think it's because, yeah, like I said at the beginning of this video, I procrastinate a lot. What's going on guys, it's the next day. So it's currently at 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm just trying to wake myself up. I'm just reading through the manual right now. And I think the aim for today is running the harness. So the main harness that goes from the battery all the way to the back to the manifold. I think that's what I'm gonna do today. So I need to take the passenger seat out, all the trimmings. Um, that shouldn't take too long. I said I was gonna wrap the MDF. I haven't done that yet because all the nails were sticking out. So I'm gonna wait for my Dremel to come through. I've ordered a Dremel on Friday. So I'm waiting for that and I'm just gonna sand those back and then I'll do it that because it's not that important. I know that it's all secure now and it all works. So I think I'm gonna try and tackle the harness, uh, maybe run some lines, um, wire in the compressor, uh, maybe do the bags, who knows? But um, yeah, let's get started today. Hope you guys are following the series. After I bag my car, I'm gonna be test fitting my new wheels. And then after that, I will be fitting my new bumper at some point as well. So uh, hope you guys are doing well. Like this video if you guys like the build. Um, I haven't posted much this year. Um, apologies but yeah we're back um, hopefully this year brings more positivity more car shows more car content and uh, yeah hope you guys are having a good one okay so I've made a head start um, I'm just having a look at where I'm gonna be running the line so the batteries here and there's a rubber grommet underneath here so if you guys can't see I need to remove the passenger seat remove all the trimmings and I think I can run it straight through to the back. I've just had a quick look and there's an access hole right at the back there. When the sun hits it, it's such a nice blue. If you guys didn't know, this is San Marino blue with some sparkle, extra sparkle in the clear coat. So there's that. So the harness is inside this box. That's the airline. This is the airline. And this is the main harness got the relays all the fuses and everything I need to plug everything in so the main objective today is to get power and um, power up the compressor and uh, power up the remote controller as well the controllers inside so I better go get that but we'll concentrate on um, plumbing the wire through today Here's another quick update. So I've managed to pull all the lines through the grommet. I ran it through the rubber grommet down there behind this fuse box. I used a screwdriver to put a hole in it and to pull the line that way. So that is now done. Just have to tidy everything up. So that's the only lines going to the engine bay. This is the cable for the controller, which is right here. So I'm excited to get this plugged in. Apart from that, everything is going well this is all going to be covered up i still have to put the sound deadening but that's not the goal of today i can do that whenever i'm still waiting for my dremel once this is all done on the front part of the car everything else is plain sailing so we're going to keep cracking on and i think the car should have power by the end of today if i have time i might do the bags as well the coilovers but that means i have to jack up the car um, but we'll see how we get on Okay, so here's another update. So I first had the uh, pink ignition wire coming through the grommet so that I could tap off one of these fuse boxes. But uh, I messaged someone on Instagram 
and according to the manual as well it's best to tap off the fuel pump i asked him where the fuse was and it's actually located by the steering wheel here so there's a bunch of fuses located just above here and i've just wired that up so that's all tucked um, nice and neat and i also went ahead and connected the controller as you can see it's all plugged in now i've made a right mess i've had to take the sensor console off so that i could wiggle all the wires through here so i think that's everything connected now apart from the airlines uh, the battery is still not connected so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the battery back on um, turn the ignition on and see what happens what powers up i'm not too sure what's going to happen don't know if the compressor is going to start it should because it is connected like i said the airlines are not and the tank is not connected but the harness is connected to the manifold so i guess we'll just plug the ground back into the battery and see what powers up all right that's good ignition yo we have power oh this is sick oh man yes power the compressor's kicking in that is awesome. I can feel air coming out. Oh mate, I've done it. The car is nearly bagged. All I've got to do now is plumb in, connect the compressor to the tank, connect the air lines, hook everything up, put the bags on the car. And uh, yeah, she's nearly there, boys and girls. Oh, I'm so happy. The car's nearly bagged. What does it say? What does it say? System not calibrated, zero PSI, blah de blah de blah. Woo! As you can probably tell, I'm really happy. Um, I've had the bags for about a month. I finally went out and started the build. I didn't think I could actually do it. It's a funny feeling. I always doubt myself for some reason, but once I get my mind into something, I just push through and get it done. So I'm happy with the progress so far. I've got so much more to do, like putting the seat back, tidy everything up. I've got to put the center console back. Oh, excuse me. The car is almost bagged. So tomorrow's video, um, I think it's raining tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. I've got to uh, take the coilovers, put the bags on, wire up the lines and calibrate it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I can start messing around with the, the bag fitment and stuff like that. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate the people that choose to come back to this channel. The subscriber count is still going up. So I appreciate the guys that still watch my videos, even the mini videos, like everything like that. It does help the channel a lot. So if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the like button first and then subscribe to this channel. I'm just out of breath. I don't know why. I'm just excited. So uh, I hope you guys have a good one. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like the bag installation and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.